In the last video, session 2, create and edit tables using wizard and SQL commands got over. And in this video, I am going to start session 3, perform operations on table of unit 3, relational database management system. In this, the first is that in our database, you can define the structure of the data and manipulate the data using some commands. So this means what that in the database, if we want to define the structure of data, structure of the data means what that as you have already seen that in RDBMS, we are storing our data in table form. So if we want to define a structure of the table, then in that case, we can use commands as well as we can manipulate or modify or change the data also by using commands. Now here the example of the first is what that by using commands we can define a structure of the data a structure of the data means we can define the structure of the table so in the previous video you have seen that by using the create command we can create table and in that create command we can mention all the fields those we want in our table as well as their data type and length of the field also in fields so in this way we can use create command to define a structure of the data or a structure of the table and as well as we can use commands to manipulate or modify or change the data also so this means what that whatever data we have entered in our table if we want to change that data if we want to modify it so that is also possible by using the commands so here overall meaning of this first statement is what that in the database we can use commands and by using those commands we can create table and while creating table we can define its structure means all the columns their data type we want in the table that we can mention as well as if needed we can change existing data of the table also now these all commands are divided into two types and one is data definition language and second one is data manipulation language so in the last video you have seen use of create command so create command we are using just to define a structure of the table and create command comes in the category of data definition language DDM. but here in this session we are going to see some dml commands data manipulation language commands so here after this next slide is so as we are going to study here some dml command so first of all we should know what is dml data manipulation language so our data manipulation language DML is a language that enables users to access and manipulate data in a database. This means that, that by using DML commands, we can access or retrieve data that is already stored in the table. And for this, we are using select command as well as if we want, we can manipulate existing data also means we can change existing data also means if we want we can change values of a particular record as well as we can delete the complete record and if we want we can enter or insert new record also so that everything is possible by using dml command so in dml commands we are actually able to access or retrieve the data that is stored in the table as well as if we want we can modify or change or manipulate data also that is there in the table now after this in dml commands there are four commands first one is select command and select command actually we are using to retrieve particular information from the table now just to explain this i am going to use the table that i have created in the previous video so now moving to it so here as you can see what table is there and in this table you can see that i have entered details of six students and here i have entered a student's name role number dob class four email color and location now in which situation we can use select command that for example as you can see that in location field we are getting three different locations bhopal jabalpur and Gwalior. and suppose i want to see name of the students who are from bhopal location so in that case we can use select command the so select command we are always using whenever we want a specific information from our entire table so that is the use of the select command now here one more is that as in the class you can see that here details of class 6th 7th 9th and 10th students entered and suppose i want to see a student's name and their dob that is date of birth of class 9th students so for that also we can use select command and in that situation i will get the students name abhasik mahesh shukla these two students details 
so that is the user of select command that whenever you want to retrieve or access information from our complete table in that case we are using this select query now thereafter next query is now next command is the insert command an insert command purpose is what insertion of new information into the database now use of insert command is actually what that whenever you want to insert new record or new row in the table for that we are using this command for example here as you can details of six students already entered in this table and as i get information of next student or one more student so by using insert command i can enter details of seventh student also and in this manner we can insert details of many more students so that purpose of insert command is what just to insert new row or record in the table now after that next is delete command so deletion of information in the database so here delete command we are using just to delete a particular record or records from the table so here for example i want to delete details of class 10th students so here in that situation details of student vavo mishra and manoj kumar will get delete so whenever you want to delete complete record or row from the table and if you want to give specific condition or based on the specific condition if you want to delete entire row or record so for that reason we are using delete command so delete command purpose is what just to delete row or record from the table now there are two next is update command and update command purpose is what modification of information in the database so whenever you want to change value that is there in the cell in that situation we can use update command for example as you can see that location of this student vavo mishra is gwalior but i want to change his location from gwalior to jabalpur so in that case i can use update command so update command we are using just to change value that is there in the cell so in this way in data manipulation language we have four commands first one is the select command and select command or a statement we are using to access particular information from the entire table thereafter insert command is the next and this insert command we are using to insert new row or record in the table after that we have delete command and delete command we are using to delete row or rows from the table and update command is the last one that we are using to change value that is there in the cell after this next is so here dml data manipulation language commands are actually divided into two types one is procedural and second one is non procedural now procedural is what the user specifies what data is needed and how to get it so in procedural dml actually user is specifying that what data that user want as well as mentioning method also to get the data so that is procedural that user is specifying what data that user want as well as how to get the data so that method is also mentioned in the procedural but non procedural is what here user only specifies what data is needed so here in the non procedural user only specifies what data actually user wants but user here is not specifying the method to get the data so in this way dml is divided into two types procedural in this user is specifying or mentioning what data user wants as well as how to get that information that method also user is specifying or mentioning here in procedure but in case of non procedural user is only specifying what data actually user wants but how to get that data that procedure or method user is not mentioning here so in this way we have two types of dml so here first part of the session 3 is getting over and uh, in the next video i will continue the same session that is session 3 so this video now i'm going to end